Hello chess friends, this is Fidu Master Valery Lewov and uh, in my lecture today what I would like to present to you is a very interesting example showing us another positional operation known as releasing of activity. Now what do I mean by releasing the activity? The releasing of activity can happen when you have prepared your pieces behind but for example you don't literally see a way to utilize those pieces to make them more effective. As I mentioned last time, the effective piece means a piece that controls some role, plays some important role for the game, and so on. So it's, it's very important to evaluate eventually the different roles of the pieces and to find a way to make those ineffective pieces which don't have a particular role, or their, their role is very small or uh, to just temporary, to make them more important, more effective, and find some useful roles for those pieces. So right now in the position, we have uh, we have an exocept of the, from the game Sproget against Yusupov. So Grandmaster Sproget was um, one of the, um, uh, the top grandmasters of the 1980s, and of course um, he's still one of one a very strong grandmaster. So this game was played in. Uh, the match between Gisproget and Yusupov played in Quebec in 1989. Now, I continue my discussion of Yusupov's games because I think that, uh, as I mentioned previously, we can study a lot of uh, a lot of them, and especially because he's a great master of the so-called positional operations. And now, what we can see in this at this point is that um, Black has quite well positioned um, pieces. His two rooks, the, the knights, the bishops, so everything seems to be coordinated. But the problem is that those pieces don't have any particular role. And this is all clear because of white's advanced pawns, e4, c4, d4, which totally limit the black activities, let's say, in this area. And this we can easily see. Um, it, the only square available is probably a5, which doesn't seem to favor black in any way. So black pieces are pretty much neutralized and white is having a lot of uh, successful ideas and threats to, to, to make home. However, the main question at this point should be how to proceed as black. If we'll take a look at moves like of rook to c8, we see that they don't do anything. White can even put his knight on a3, and uh, right here, c to c3 or 4 pawn cannot be taken that easily. If black decides to play something like bishop to c6, white could even put his rook on b1. And little by little, I think that once white utilizes his pieces on the queen side, he will prepare a move like c5. Of course, now this pawn is hanging, so maybe maybe White is going to do something else be before. So he will do, uh, let's say, bishop f4 in this position. It seems pretty powerful. So we see that the boxed pieces, which, which Black has, um, will be even in trouble. So maybe Black can... We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.